Welcome back, nerds. Um, we are going to continue on our journey in looking at HTML and CSS using Dreamweaver. Okay, so what you should have done already is to have uh, managed your site and created that, and you should have created a page called Index also within your site, as you can see here, right? Um, you can see how that works. And hopefully, it, you can see how you could create a second page as well and just don't name it index. Now I have this index here because I'm going to show you the difference between my pages, okay? So um, we're gonna take a look at how they look differently. So the first thing that you should see is that I'm in standard mode, that I've got a split screen, and that right now, according to my source code, I am looking at index HTML. So I know I'm working in HTML because remember, the language will tell us. If I look at the top of my code, do you see how I see my brackets, which automatically indicates HTML, and it even tells me right here that I'm in language, uh, HTML language, and that I'm actually writing in uh, US English. Yeah, makes sense. Um, and then the rest of it sets up things. And if you notice also, there are notes and instructions written into the code for the coder so that they know, um, if you look, it's right here, what something looks like. So this is like an indication that says the following script tag downloads a font. So it, it, it'll tell, it gives like clues as to what you're looking at, which is a really important aspect. This too is instructions. And you know it's instructions and not tags or commands because there is a bracket and an exclamation mark prior to the content. So basically this is pointless. It doesn't do anything, right? Um, as I look through more of my code, I can see the structure of the page. I can actually see, you know, the split screen lets me see it, but if I see this Latin block of text, if I click on it, my code appears, and here it is, that very Latin text that's a placeholder. So the structure of the site itself, which is in HTML, is what we're going to work with first. So your job is to modify the content of your template so that it suits what you want it to be on your topic. And I've kind of started doing that. As you can see, I've got a logo up here. I don't like my spacing, and I'm going to fix that. I've got my navigation bar up here with two pages, because I'm just going to have my splash page and a secondary page, which I will link later. I've got the name of my site. I've got some background. That's all I've added. But here's, here's what you can see. Um, if How did I do that? How did I, add, how did I edit this? Well, if you look, if I click on this aspect, down here in my HTML code, I see exactly what this is. And I, it's a, if you notice between this command, it's got a line, it's got a marker with a title, and it's got the content in full all caps. You see that? If I did not want that to be home, let's say I wanted that to say splash. If I changed that between those line, that command between those lines, there within my code. Do you see how it changes up here? You see that? I'm not going to leave it that way, but that's how I'm editing. I'm finding what I want to edit, and then I'm editing it within the code. Right? There's other options I have. If I right-click, control-click, and do quick edit, there will often time, notice it says there's no quick edit available, but there will oftentimes be commands that let me help in that editing process. Right now I have a navigation bar that's going to say home for the home page, which is going to take me to my splash page, and then my second page is going to be called Nerd Power, as you can see. There were more options in my navigation that originally started. It actually was more like this, and I eliminated those. So let me click on it again. Um, there, there, let's get there. Am I in CSS? Oh, I'm in CSS and not in source code. Let's go to source code. Let's click in this. Now, see how I have these, this many commands? I just deleted those, the extra ones. So if I wanted just to have two pages instead of three, boom, 
Now I have two pages instead of three. Now this line of text is actually blank, which is kind of not kosher, but since we're just modifying a template, it'll work. So here's what you need to think about. And I'm going to go back to my first page. Anything that's structured from your source code in HTML, like the way the blocks are and what's in the blocks, um, here, including if I put titles of content and I want to put images here, like this background, well, this I have to change this kind of stuff in the HTML, right? That's how I change it. And if you notice, I have options to create all kinds of things here. But that I must modify those uh, aspects in HTML. Then if I want to change how my website looks, for example, the colors. Let's say I don't want this to be teal blue. I'm going to make this like Smoky Valley colors. I have to do that within CSS, Cascading Style Sheets. That's got to do with like font styles, sizes, spacing, colors, um, and I can do that. So I'm, I've, since this index page is a single page template, I'm going to click on that. And notice I can tell I'm in a different language. Why? Because if you see, I see brackets instead of the less than or greater than sign. And I'm suddenly, my language is different. It's even in different colors, as you can see. So I'm going to look, for example, the background color of this website. If I hover over it with my cursor, I can see that the background color of the entire site is white, as you can see, right? And I can see that there's a container here. It gives me the width of it. And again, the background color. But in this case, this navigation bar where the header is, the background color is that green. So that's that header right up here, this one right here. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to control click. I'm going to go to quick edit. And I now have access to that color. If you notice, I can change the colors that it is. And as I move my color cursor around, the, the color number that I've identified will change. But I've already selected the color I want and saved it in this box up here. I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to hit return. And voila, I now have a different color. Okay, So in coding language, colors are assigned a number sign and a color tag. Um, in fact, all commands in HTML or CSS are called tags. They, you have to tell it what to do. Okay. My, notice that my border color is also this, this kind of tealy color, um, which I'm going to change. So again, I'm going to right click, quick edit. I'm going to choose this color and return. And I've changed that border color. Okay. So as you notice already, and I've still got background and things to look at, my, my page starts to look different. And I haven't added images or pictures or anything yet, but to edit what the structure is, I have to be in HTML. To, order, to change how it looks, I have to be in CSS. Um, so we're going to let you tinker. Your job is to find a topic, modify your website, and work to change what you have. Remember, when you're finished, you are going to save what you have. If you don't save it, you will lose your content. Okay? Um, yeah, that's all I've got to go for you today uh, for this lesson. We're going to talk about adding more content in our next lesson. Bye.